Uh, good morning. Uh, what I'm here to say is that police continue to investigate a report of an incident at a school in Glenelg East earlier in the week. At about 10 a.m. on Tuesday the 9th of August, police were called to the Diagonal Road School after a student reported a man having approached her on the school grounds. This incident is alleged to have occurred upstairs on the first floor of the main building adjacent to the school stairway. The man reportedly grabbed a girl by the right wrist and pulled her down the stairs into the middle landing. She was able to pull away and ran down the stairs and disappeared. Sorry, she was able to pull away and the man ran down the stairs and disappeared from view. The man is described as being about 180 centimetres tall, bald, and was wearing a knee length light blue coloured shirt, black pants, black disposable face mask, and was carrying a black beanie. Additional information provided by the student also says that the man had purple nail polish on one thumb and he was wearing a distinctive ring on that painted thumb that was described as being black in colour with bright dots and a black twisted bracelet on one wrist and two earrings in one of his ears. Western District CRB has been in the last 48 hours at the school extensively and have spoken with a number of people including students staff and parents who were in the vicinity of the school at the time. They have also conducted extensive door knocks and viewed significant CCTV footage that is available in the area. But, and I stress this, have not been able to identify any witnesses to that incident. There have been reports of this ban going into the female student toilets. I can categorically say that is incorrect. There have been other reports that this man chased the student, and again, I say that is not true. There were reports that other students and perhaps staff witnessed this incident, and again, I say those reports are untrue and in many respects are not helpful to this investigation. We continue to deploy significant resources to this serious incident, and we also continue to work with the student and her family during what is a difficult time. What I do ask is that anyone who may have witnessed this incident or have seen a man matching the description as I have described to call Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000 or online at crimestoppers.sa.com.au. Thank you, and I'm prepared to take questions. Are you aware of any other incidents in the area in the past months, weeks at schools? No, nothing that we could say is linked to this type of incident. Uh, obviously, we are very alert to anyone that enters school grounds during school time that is not related to the school. So there's nothing that we have found so far that would um, link this to anything else in the area. Have you spoken to other schools about increasing the level of security in the area? Uh, not specifically, but I would say that the sensitivity around schools and who is and isn't allowed into the school grounds is something that we have a very good relationship with all schools in all districts across the metropolitan area as we do across the state. Um, anything to do on school grounds is very concerning. So someone who's not meant to be there, and in this case approaching a student, is really concerning. So our work with the education department, as well as the independent and private schools, is ongoing. And I must say they are very attuned to security within their premises. Is there anything that can be done extra to, to beef up that security to make parents feel more safe if their child is okay? We have had significant police deployment in the area around the school. Um, the amount of deployment to this investigation is really akin to the type of seriousness we put in it. So our efforts are going towards finding this man and holding him accountable for his actions. So that's why our appeal for public assistance is something we will continue to do. Um, but so far, we don't have a lot of other information to go on besides the account of the student. Is there any chance this could be a misguided or a, or a false report? Is there a chance of that? Um, at this stage, we're investigating it as an incident. We, ha we have no other information that would suggest it's not true. Um, but absolutely, our efforts are towards finding the person responsible for this and continuing down a path as this incident occurring. Do you think it's unusual that there were no other witnesses to this event happening? Oh, I can't explain that. How a school operates during um, times is, um, you know, we are very supportive of the student um, and the incident that has occurred to her and supporting her family. And um, the 
Okay, if, if the inference is it may not have occurred, I, I cannot um, put any um, confirmation to that at all. We are absolutely investigating this incident as occurring and um, have no other information otherwise. On the flip side of that then, should there have been other people around, do you think, to look after this child who was by herself? Uh, the, the school was functioning as a school, so the, the school has plenty of staff and um, other people who are able to assist the student, and my understanding is that's what occurred immediately after this incident. Why has it taken two days for there to be a police presence at the school? Was it maybe not taken as seriously earlier on? Yeah, or why now? Uh, to, in, some, in many respects, what we needed to do is put the facts back around this story, and they are the facts as I've explained that um, the student was approached by a male inside the school building. The other reporting around what this male is alleged to have done is, to be honest, some of the reason we're coming back now to put the facts back around this story. We have had significant police involvement with this matter since it was reported to us. So the media release went out. We worked with the school to inform the school community that this had occurred and the Involvement of the police has not waned um, and will not wane until we get to a point where we've exhausted all our investigation or hopefully um, arrested the person responsible for this incident. The other parents at the school weren't informed of exactly what had happened, just that there was a very bad incident. Do you think maybe they should have had more information from the staff? Uh, again, we work with the education department, but the, we, we have a role to investigate the matter and there are occasions when release of information may compromise that investigation. Um, so alerting the parents to an incident um, is what we worked with the school to do. Uh, and now we have our release of information that again links in with what's occurred at the school on that day. Can you tell us how the student's coping? Did she suffer any injuries as a result of this? How's her mental state, I suppose? Uh, we are providing all the support mechanisms we can, as is the school. Um, around the student. I'm grateful to say that she hasn't suffered any physical injury, um, but the mental um, injury associated with this is something that we absolutely will continue to support the student throughout this. How significant is that small detail that this little girl's nature, remember, the nails polish, etc., that very, very small detail? Will that, will that help you? What we are, absolutely. Yes, this is the information that someone may know, a man who has nail polish on one thumb. They may know a person who wears a bracelet on a wrist. Um, and some of those more detailed descriptions around this person is where we are very hopeful that someone knows who this person is. Well, is there any idea in which direction then the male took off in? No, we don't, unfortunately. Once he left the building, um, that's undetermined, which is again why we have gone to great efforts uh, to look around the area for any available closed circuit television, any people that may have seen a person leaving the school at that time. And that appeal is still very much active if anyone has seen anything that may assist us. There are a number of businesses on that corner. Is it unusual that you haven't been able to find CCTV footage of someone leaving the school? Because I think there's businesses almost on every angle. Uh, again, that's part of the investigation. I mean, where this person went when he left the school, obviously if he passes those businesses, we may get CCTV of it, um, but it's just another avenue of the investigation that is the length that we will go to to make sure that we fully investigate this serious matter. And unclear whether he took off on foot or whether there was a vehicle involved? Uh, again, all we know is he was on, obviously on foot when he entered the school. Um, if he had a vehicle, again, that's information we don't currently have. But if someone do knows, does know of something that would assist us, we would encourage them to come forward. How serious are the charges that this man is facing now? Uh, they are very serious, absolutely. Um, again, it's all part of the investigation in terms of what he's done. Um, as I've described, when we find the offender, um, then the determination is made about what appropriate charges he would face. Can you tell us how this incident came to light? Did they find the student? in the hallway? Did you report it to a teacher? Did anyone hear anything? How did it actually come to be known by the school that it actually happened? Uh, again, I, I don't have the specific information, but my understanding is that um, the school immediately contacted the police on being advised by the student that this had occurred within the school grounds. Are you reviewing reports of other strangers or sightings of strangers on school grounds in that area? Is that something that you're doing the last few weeks? Uh, absolutely. That's all part of the investigation. Um, we look at people that may have been in the area, 
um, any unusual circumstances. And at this stage, they're all avenues of investigation that are still being pursued. Final question. Um, do we know how long there was a struggle between the um, kid and the man, how long that took? Was it, did it all happen really quickly? Did she pull away or was it a sense of struggle? No, it's my understanding is it's quite a short space of time. So, thank you. Thank you.